Gemini, June, all you've been thinking of, it could be yours. It could be yours this month, Gemini. And you are a thinker. I know that I'm a Gemini moon. I know we can just loop through those thoughts. Oh boy, can we ever. So the possibility is there for it to become your own because Jupiter has moved into your sign. And yeah, people may say that it's not the best placement for Jupiter, but you know what? It's Jupiter, right? Jupiter's planet of luck and blessings. So I'm not going to listen to the negativity. I am going to imagine these amazing opportunities, situations, helpful people, helpful friends, helpful conversations, all clicking together for us, Gemini, okay? So the beginning of the month, right? You have the sun in Gemini, you have Mercury, the planet of communication in Gemini, its own planet and its own sign. Venus in Gemini, which is super playful. This is going to be all in your sign along those three planets are kind of together, right? They're conjunct. So you're going to have fun with the sun there going to be social like you are. Mercury's there, so it's going to be busy. Maybe you'll be traveling a little bit. Venus is there, so there's going to be great relationships. There's going to be opportunities of value, of love, of money, of all the beauty. Okay. Now, then you got Jupiter in early degrees of your sign, but it's still in your sign. Okay. So this goes on till about June 21st, then the sun will move into the sign cancer and things will change a little bit. So make the most of the month in the beginning of the month. Okay. As it gets later, um, things are going to change up a little bit. You're going to have more of a square with Neptune and a square with Saturn. So you might not be able to see as much, or you might feel held down a little bit more with responsibility later in the month. So make the most of the early month and go for it. Now I did a pre-reading and I like what I see here. From the Tattoo Tarot, I have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the cover photo here on the box. So this is your pre-reading. I chose these just before I got on, just to make sure I'm on the right path with you, Gemini. And Ace of Pentacles is showing up, and I think Aces are so lucky, but it's something new. It's a one. Pentacles is anything of value. It has a lot of Venus vibes to it, okay? You can never go wrong with an Ace of Pentacles. I swear. I love it. So here is your first card, okay? Now, your second card is the Velocity of Fire from the Rosebud Tarot. I'm pretty sure this is the Knight of Wands. Okay, he looks confident. He looks royal. He's got a big triangle behind him trines. We have a trine with Pluto going on. So you're going to be able to get things accomplished and it might even be fun. Okay. And then the star card comes in here from the Rosebud Tarot. And isn't she beautiful and different and unique and very Venus-like also? So there's going to be opportunities that you don't even realize. There's going to be new friends, new situations that you like I just keep repeating, like you may not even have imagined. That's what I keep getting. Okay. So the star looks like a huge opportunity to me. And so I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling good about being a Gemini moon this month. Okay. So let's do a little bit of a past, present, future spread. Now I have not looked at these yet and let's see what we've got, what Gemini needs to know this month, what you're moving out of, what's currently going on and the future position. Okay. Then we'll go week by week. So past. You've got a reverse seven of water, seven of cups. These women look like they have veils over them. See a lot of snakes and scorpions and large bugs. It has a lot of Scorpio vibes to it. Okay. Scorpio is like represented by so many different creatures. It's, it's an eagle. It's a, a phoenix rising. It's a snake. It's a uh, I think of water snakes, scorpion, right? All these things. So there's a lot of water energy here. It did come up in reversed. I just think you're going to get some clarity. Things aren't going to be as confusing. 
Okay. Now that's the past position. So maybe things were confusing. Present situation. We've got a reverse queen of wands. Again, I'm not a big reversal reader. Here's the queen of wands with the words burn tattooed on her hands coming in right under the knight of wands there. So there looks to me like there's a lot of clarity and forward movement. Okay. And a lot of fun future position over here. We've got a balance card, card number 11, justice. Look at that garden. Look at all those flowers. It's so beautiful. And there's balance taking place. Wow. Gemini, you like balance and you're always kind of looking for it. And it's almost like, um, your twin has shown up, right? Your other half, the balance is there and there's a lot, a lot of beauty. All right. So let's pull a couple cards for week by week. We're going to use the everyday witch mini here, and we're going to go for the four weeks of June. See what's going on here. All right. So week one. We're starting with the magician. So right here, past position was kind of Scorpio energy. We have the magician showing up here. So everything's in order now because the magician knows how to work in that realm, um, knows how to trust feeling, knows how to use intuition to find the right way forward. Okay. So you got a really powerful week one. We already saw in astrology that the earlier weeks of the month are going to flow easier for you, Gemini. Okay. And, um, let's see, there was something else about water. Well, the trine with Pluto, which Pluto to me is a water planet. Um, okay. So I'm never upset to see the magician here at the beginning of the month. Week two, two of wands, fabulous, relationship number, passion, ideas, forward movement. There could even be some travel going on here, okay? Week two, Gemini. As we move into week three, we have the Queen of Cups. She looks like she's on vacation. And this is more towards when we'll move into cancer season, right? So take a break. Have a good time, Gemini. And you never really take a break. You're so on the move. So enjoy this. Enjoy week three. Week four, we've got the four of wands. It looks like a successful celebration. And really, this will be as we're getting closer to 4th of July. This almost looks like 4th of July. All right. So, wow, we got a lot of great cards. I'm excited for all of us Geminis. Looks like we're moving out of some fogginess. Uh, maybe we've been feeling really emotional. Looks like that's clearing up. There's a lot of visibility. I like how this Queen of Wands underneath here, it almost looks like these sunflowers almost look like mirrors to me. So it's almost like you're going to be able to see yourself. The veil has been lifted because these women are all covered. Their faces are covered. It's lifted. You can see more clearly. And, you know, sometimes when we see ourselves clearly, we don't like it all. But guess what? That's what makes us so cool. I heard someone recently said to me, gem in eye, right? The gem in eye. And so, yeah, sometimes gems have some flaws, right? We have certain markings maybe we wish we didn't have, but that's what makes us a gem, okay? So look at yourself, take yourself in whole, that look how far you've come, look at all you're doing here. Enjoy the summer a little bit. Try to slow down and try to have a really nice time, okay? Because it's there for you, Gemini. Let's roll you some dice. Sun, Cancer, Ninth House, Sagittarius's House of Expansion, Luck, blessings. So sun in cancer. So we know that the sun will be in cancer later in the month. That's when the square with Neptune and Saturn takes place a little bit more. So maybe you can reflect after some downtime or during some downtime on where you're giving your power, where it, um, like, is your time well spent? You can start envisioning how you want to do things a little bit differently. There's a lot of like nurturing energy in these, in this role of the sun and cancer in the ninth house. There's also like travel energy to it and kind of reflecting into the big picture of how you want things to be later. 
Okay. So with Jupiter in your sign, of course, you're going to think big. And so have fun with that. Have fun thinking big. Sometimes it's fun to just let your mind go there. And, and it can almost be like a meditation. You go on a journey, you think big. Okay. All right. So let's give you some power days for the month of June. You rolled the sun, which rolls the sign Leo. So I'm checking to see when the moon will be in Leo in June. And it looks like it starts on mid-afternoon on Sunday, June 9th through the 10th and the 11th, all the way to like middle of the night on the 12th. Okay. Power time for you. Now you also rolled the sign, the sign cancer. So that's going to give you from the 7th at 8.41 a.m. through the 8th, through the 9th, and then that links right up to the Leo time. So you get a really nice stretch of real power days there from the 7th to the 12th middle of the evening, okay? We also rolled Sagittarius energy. So let's see when the moon will be in Sagittarius in the month of June, and that looks like it will take place on the 19th right after lunch or right at lunch. And it'll be in Sagittarius through the 20th, which is the summer solstice. So I hope that you can take some time and enjoy that, Gemini. Uh, let's see, the sun or the moon stays in the sign of Sagittarius until the evening of Friday the 21st, okay? So you've got some great stretches of time to really enjoy the summer because that is really the message that I'm getting here for you, Gemini. And all that you've been thinking of can be yours, could be yours, maybe should be yours. And I want you to dwell in it and play in that playful journey of imagining all the possibilities. Have a great month, Gemini.